Imagine you are a high school student who wants to have an impact and change the world for the better. You want to do something meaningful. You are ready and willing to help with a project or even lead one by yourself. But you don't know so many people of your own age with similar vision and ambitions. I've started working on a project that addresses this situation. It can solve this problem in my hometown of Krakow, in cities all over Poland, indeed anywhere in the world. I remember thinking, wouldn't it be great if there was a community of like-minded high schoolers who felt, felt, felt the same way, who could meet to support, learn from and inspire each other? I had some experiences that gave me the certainty that there were ways of connecting with those students. Let me explain. I have been part of a national project run by Our Future Foundation, where about 100 students from all over Poland got together in Warsaw. We shared good practice, inspired each other. It was an important source of motivation for me and for others. And it also made me aware that there was nothing like this going on in Krakow. I thought that local events could reach far more students than an occasional national conferences. I decided that I wasn't going to wait until someone else came up with the idea of what to do about this problem. So that's why I started Open Coffee High School Edition in October 2020. But before I tell you about this idea, maybe I should introduce myself. So I'm Magda, I'm 16 year old high school student, and I have been involved in some other voluntary projects for about a year now. I was inspired by pro entrepreneurship community in Krakow. I would like to give credit to Krakow Enterprise Mondays, to KMS Foundation, the OMG Karaoke Foundation, and Open Coffee Karaoke Meetups. And of course, the seed um, pro enterprise movement. Because going to the regular meetups has been so helpful. And by the way, for any teenager watching this talk right now, I will encourage you to check if such events are going also in your city and just show up. You will, I hope, find that you are just as welcome as I was and it helped me the confidence to get started. So what do our meetings look like? We base them on the format of long-running open coffee Krakow events. Each participant gets a minute or two to answer four questions. Who they are, what they are doing or working on, what they want, and most importantly, how they can help other participants. After the individual presentations, people can network with each other one-on-one -on -one or in smaller groups. Importantly, our Open Coffee High School Edition is run by and for high school students. We have ownership and control. This is motivating that we are in charge and no adults were telling us what to do. Everyone who comes is a participant, not an attendee. By this, I mean that people who come create the value. They are not passive consumers of something organized by me and the team, but they co-create and contribute from positive vibe and community they are benefiting from. So how did the first open coffee go? The first meeting brought together about 20 students aged 15 to 19 from different schools in Krakow. Most importantly, it had several positive impacts. Connections were made. Awareness was raised about different projects and activities people there were working on or represented. A young artist who was interested in graphic design said she was looking for new challenges and imagined that people who needed a designer to help on the project were glad to recruit her on the team. And exactly this type of matchmaking makes so much sense. But there were other impacts that will in the long run be more significant. Because it's refreshing to know to be in the same room as other activist students, mutually enhancing and reinforcing positivity, ambition, and motivation, creating an environment where people with worldwide projects and ideas can find others to support and help them is really significant. I know that the idea of networking is beneficial is not new. Meeting new people, cooperating with strangers in different communities, groups, student societies, and clubs make a lot of sense whatever age you are. But what's different about this project is that this run for and by people of school age. Because networking should not be reserved for adults. Some activities that used to be reserved for adults make no sense also for children and teenagers. 
Adults are used to saying, kids grow up so fast these days, but they don't go on to create the institutions and activities for young people to take account of the way our capabilities and ambitions have evolved towards the years. I'm not here to criticize the young talent competitions organized by adults for teenagers, but isn't it better for teenagers to start designing fearful things for themselves? We, young people, should remember that we do not have to wait for adults to sort things out for us, and that we can take the initiative. This is not a how I did it talk. If anyone listening today would like to do something similar, I would gladly share uh, details of how I did it. The promotion, phone calls, emails, Facebook, meetup groups, and so on. It didn't require money, just effort and determination. I want this idea to spread and I believe it will. But let's go back to why this idea is so important. Let me tell you about the impact on me, the potential impact on others, and the lessons I've learned. The impact on me, the process of organizing my own projects, making things happen, getting things started, has changed me. I hope for the better. I've learned so much about myself and how to be more effective. I've learned that I am capable of way more than I previously believed. And I learned also about my weaknesses. For example, I was and I still am stressed about hosting the meeting and public speaking. And now I know that this is something that I need to work on. I've learned about the power of taking the initiative, of being ready to take risks, of living with the possibility of rejection and failure. Because each time I approach anyone asking them if they want to get involved, I run the risk of them not wanting to help me. I think, what's the worst thing that could happen? And just move on. I've learned the power of volunteering, the positive things that happen when I offer help to others, and how when I ask others for help, it sometimes yields amazing results. I've learned the importance of finding good mentors and building a team of people you trust. I've discovered that if you have an idea you believe in, being a teenager is no excuse for seeing whether you can put it into action. The main barriers are mental ones inside our heads, not based on our age or gender. The beauty of the Open Coffee High School project is it is that it creates an environment which helps mobilize and activate other young people. So you may be thinking, nice idea, good job, so what? I believe that this idea should not matter only to me, but to other people too. Because there is no reason I can think why other towns and cities in Poland or around the world cannot benefit from teenager-led networking groups similar to the one I have started here in Krakow. It's good for the leaders, it's good for the community. It doesn't require money, it helps develop self-confidence and social skills. And it also creates healthier society. It's an idea worth spreading. Thank you.